A man was using his laptop while seated in his opulent Bangkok mansion when there was a loud crash outside. He hurried outdoors, leaving his laptop open, not realizing that his life of luxury would end in a matter of minutes. After years of waiting, police agencies from seven different countries, not just one or two, had heard allegations that a female had crashed her Toyota Camry into the gate of his villa. Not just any man, mind you, this was a multi-millionaire leading an opulent life while hiding his true name from the public for years. However, a single indiscretion caused him to lose everything, his cars, fortune, houses, and ultimately, his life. What was that tiny error? And how did the Seven Nation Police Force manage to apprehend the world's most wanted dark web kingpin? This narrative begins in 2010, at the inception of the dark web. The dark web, also known as the other side of the internet, is where a variety of illegal activities, including the use of firearms and drugs, as well as targeted homicides, take place. It's hard for us to even begin to understand the kind of work that goes on here, where a variety of criminal enterprises flourish. People attempt to conceal their identities on the dark web to avoid detection by law enforcement authorities. Similar to how we search the regular internet with Google, the dark web offers its own platforms for criminal activity. The emergence of cryptocurrencies resolved the issue of moving money for illegal trades, making it difficult for authorities to monitor Bitcoin transactions. From disguising identities to securely sending funds, the dark web has provided an answer to every issue facing illegal dealers. All you needed was a trustworthy dark website or platform. Since its launch in February 2011, Silk Road has been incredibly well known in the dark web community. In less than a year, Silk Road attracted over 100,000 users, but after 2.5 years, authorities apprehended the owner and took down the website. Nonetheless, a number of new dark websites, such as Silk Road 2.0 and Evolution, arose as a result of the strong demand for these platforms. These websites allowed users to purchase illicit products with Bitcoin, generating a profit for the vendor upon completion of the transaction. But because these transactions were all unlawful, the owners of the websites would frequently flee with the money from the consumers, a practice known as exit scams. These scams were untraceable, and the dark web gained popularity as a hub for them. Such fraud, hacking, and exit scam cases were common in the early days of the dark web. In 2014, Alpha Bay emerged as a reliable and well-known platform to meet this need. An unidentified individual started Alpha Bay, which in just one year became the preferred venue for illicit activity, boasting over 200,000 users and 40,000 vendors. By 2017, users had posted over 300,000 goods, and daily sales had surpassed $1 million. The anonymous owner, Alpha02, earned millions of dollars per month and quickly rose to prominence as the dark web's head. But as we all know, prosperity doesn't last forever, and Alpha02's error brought him to his knees, rendering him the world's most wanted criminal. Although dealers and consumers in the market had grown to trust it, law enforcement organizations throughout the globe were still working to determine Alpha Zero Two's true identity. The location of Alpha Bay's server was of interest to US investigators who hoped to raid the data center, bring Alpha Zero Two to justice, and shut down the platform. Usually, one can easily find a website's server location, but Alpha Bay and other dark websites accessible only through the Tor browser, hide their locations behind random servers located around the world. Frustrated, American detectives created a regular user account on Alpha Bay and began purchasing drugs in the hopes of catching a dealer, goofing around, and finding Alpha Zero Two. But this scheme would only apprehend drug dealers, not Alpha Bay's mastermind, who was exceedingly cautious and had not miscalculated in years. Authorities obtained a lead on Alpha Zero Two. 
Finally, in 2017, Robert Miller, a Drug Enforcement Agency, DEA agent, received an email containing details regarding Alpha Zero Two. Despite not identifying the source, the communication addressed Alpha Zero Two and originated from an address that had previously received a welcome email from Alpha Bay during its 2014 launch. Even if the informant corrected the error later, they still kept the original email address and gave it to Robert Miller. Several social networking sites, including one in France, connected the email address to the registration of an account with the name Alex. The inquiry team discovered images of Alex from 2008 and 2009, potentially belonging to Alpha Zero Two, as well as a dating profile associated with the same email account that mentioned Alex's hometown of Trois-Rivières, Canada. Alex's profile from 2008 indicated his age of 17, and the email address might have included his birth year of 1990. In 2008, Alex also posted on a French technological forum using this email address, identifying himself as Alpha Zero Two and disclosing his true identity, Alexandre Cazes. Now that authorities knew Alpha Zero Two's true identity, his whereabouts were still unknown. LinkedIn identified him as a software designer, but it's unclear where he works now. Agents began monitoring his locations, which encompassed a $3 million mansion in Bangkok, a vacation property in Phuket, a villa in Thailand where he lived with his Thai wife, and a villa he planned to buy in Cyprus. Unaware that agents were tracking him, Alpha Zero Two went about his daily life, waking up early and spending most of the day at home. The police intended to take him into custody, but in order to establish his affiliation with Alpha Bay, they had to catch him in the act. The investigative team's goal was to apprehend him while he was using his laptop. Hansa, a European dark website that had eluded investigators, competed with Alpha Bay as the biggest dark web marketplace. European detectives had made a big breakthrough just as American authorities were preparing to apprehend Alpha Bay's owner, Alexandra Cazes. They had, perhaps with the help of an insider, found the server location for Hansa Market. They didn't want to immediately shut down the server since Hansa Market would have just switched to new servers and there would have been no benefits. Instead, they viewed the admin's chat and secretly stole the server data, which allowed them to learn that Hansa Market's owner resided in Germany. The German Federal Criminal Police and European authorities started looking for the owner. Meanwhile, the FBI notified European authorities of their impending arrest of Alexander Cazes and the Alpha Bay closure. Seven nations participated in the coordinated effort, which became known as the Bayonet Effort. As part of their plan, the European authorities requested that the FBI postpone the arrest until they had taken control of Hansa Market. Taking down a website often leads dealers and consumers to switch to other dark websites, making this a calculated move. The authorities expected dealers to swarm to Hansa Market, another big dark web platform, following Alpha Bay's collapse. The developments around Operation Bayonet, essentially a honey trap, remained unknown to Alexander Kazis. German officials successfully completed the first phase of the operation on June 20th, 2017, when they detained the owner of Hansa Market during a raid on the company's data center in the Netherlands. But this revelation went unnoticed on the dark web, leaving Hansa Market in the hands of European police. Meanwhile, plans were underway in Bangkok to arrest Alexandra Kazes. The FBI and Thai authorities left his laptop and cell phone open, intending to apprehend him without leaving a trace. Following Alexander Kaz's arrest, early on July 5, 2017, authorities confiscated millions of dollars worth of cryptocurrencies and all of his passwords from his laptop after looking into it. But while in detention, Alexander Kaz's killed himself prior to his court appearance. The dark web monarch lost his life due to a minor oversight. 
European authorities closed Alpha Bay, prompting vendors and patrons to relocate to Hansa Market. After a week, European authorities permanently closed Hansa Market and arrested thousands of new vendors. The US Justice Department announced the news of the operation, which had effectively taken down two significant dark web platforms at a press conference that same day. I really hope you liked this video as well.